The woman just coughed, her head fell off, and then, like a worm, she came closer and closer to the boy. The boy could only hide in the house. The woman wrapped her neck around the boy's body, until she trapped him inside. Before he could react, the woman raised her neck. The boy trips and slides into the corner, and then he turns his head. Suddenly, a strange figure appeared outside the door. Then a million eyes appeared. In a panic, the boy rushed to break free, but he didn't realize that after pushing the door open, there was an even more terrifying presence outside. The boy and the woman were sucked in tightly. Just when he could not hold on any longer, the giant head starts to blow inside again. It's ready to eat the boy. But before they could enjoy their meal, the boy was blown away by the wind. He fell into the lake again. When he woke up again, he was saved by a monster. It turned out that the boy was not an ordinary person. He's Kirin Yuko, who's been given a divine body. These monsters aren't bad guys. They just came to guide the boy to the demon world, to help them get rid of the demon king. 